Why do we fly flags at half-mast or half-staff? It's a tradition that probably dates back to the 17th century. Firstly, why do we do it? In most countries, it's a sign of respect for a person or persons who have died, a symbol of mourning, distress or salute. There are six steps to fly a flag at half-mast. First, the flag should be raised to the top of the pole before lowering back down to its half-mast position. As raising, the same should be done when the flag is lowered. First, it should be raised back to the top of the mast before taking it down fully. This process is a military tradition to show the observer that the half-mast is intentional and not a mistake. There are no official points where the flag should fly at half-mast. Some take it literally, others recommend that a full width or the longest length of the flag's edges, but most British institutes, for example, suggest a third from the top, which makes it obvious to the observer that the flag is deliberately flying at half-mast. Wall-mounted flagpoles at 45 degrees or more should not be lowered. There are the exceptions to the rule, of course, and some protocols, for example, like royal flags, for example, the UK Royal Standard, can never be flown at half-mast because when a monarch passes, the line of succession takes over immediately. And there are some national flags like Saudi Arabia, Somaliland, and the flag can never be flown at half-mast because of the Shahada. Also, there is a practice rarely used today where the flag is flown full-mast, but tied up like this Moroccan flag is, which was documented in 1999 outside the Paris Embassy after the passing of King Hassan II. In most countries, it's the head of state that commands the half-mast, but many organisations and institutions may choose to take the decision which would rarely be objected to. But why half-mast? It's thought that the origins, as said, stated back to the 17th century where it was lowered the flag to make way for an invisible flag of death to fly at the top of the pole. And on that cheery note, I'll leave it there. For more Flags in 50 specials, click on this playlist, which covers everything from flags of the American states to those flags that fly on the moon just to whet your appetite.